All right, yo, what is going on, everybody? You guys got the Barakage of the Hidden Gains Village. In today's video, we are going to be reacting and reviewing my very first ever competition run. This video is about a year overdue because this competition took place on May 23rd, 2022, and I was gonna make the video like right after that. But the thing is, as you guys are gonna find out later in this video, I really just was not happy with my performance at all. And of course, at the time I had to accept that this was my level, but it, it would have been hard for me to sit down and just look at that and be like, yeah, this is where we are now. Of course I could accept it because since this, since this day, I've obviously leveled up far past this. And now it's easy for me to look at it and say like, this is what's not right about this. But at the time it would have been really, really hard because that would have been my level now. Like, it's just weird to explain. I just didn't want to do it, okay? <laughs> but anyway, uh, the competition, aside from this performance you're going to see, was a very good experience. I had an amazing time seeing everybody. The only thing it was, I just didn't enjoy actually doing it because I just was not happy with my performance. Uh, but anyway, yeah, before we get into it, I want to say thank you to my friend Nick Sclafani for sending these to me like a year ago because again I did the competition was not satisfied at all so I did, I made no effort to get the clips from this so yes thank you Nick for sending these uh because seriously I I really am glad I was able to find this and do this for this video anyway without further ado we are going to jump right into it this is the very first round of the competition I actually went first overall as well so i was already nervous and then going first overall made me extremely nervous and yeah we're gonna take a look at that in three two and one uh, i should probably mute the sound first hold up because i was using the pokemon theme so i'm actually just gonna go through all these videos real quick and uh go ahead and mute this because uh i do not want to get in trouble okay now okay now in three two one start i am on the bars in the planche and yes pelican okay good pelican overall this was my first ever pelican that i counted of course before this i had done quite a few attempts but it was always to like a disgusting form retracted banana sort of planche and this was the first one that I actually counted so i was very happy about this but here's the thing guys i was stressing so because because i had never done a good pelican before and I knew I wanted to do it as the opening move. You can question whether or not that was the smartest thing because it probably wasn't, but I just knew that I really, really wanted to do it. And so because I was unsure of being able to do Pelican, it, it kind of ruined this whole experience because I was up thinking about whether or not I was going to do Pelican. Before this competition, I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to do it? Am I going to go up there and fail this skill? So at the end of the day, I look back and I'm like, yes, it's cool. I did my first Pelican. But it probably wasn't the best decision mentally because of how worried I was about doing a skill that I had never done before at the time. And that really did kind of add to the stress. I did the Pelican and uh, th this, I, I was very happy. I, I was extremely happy, obviously. It was my first Pelican um, and all that stress just kind of went away after I did it because I was like, I did the Pelican. I have nothing to worry about now. So let's see what happens after the pelican. Actually, let's watch the pelican again. And yeah, uh, Nick, uh, kind of the bushes are in the way. There was a lot of people filming. So yeah, don't don't comment about stuff like that because uh, Nick did it. It was great that he, we even have this footage. Um, so yeah, again, we'll restart. So there we go. There's the pelican. Mm, yeah, very good. Uh, there's, I, I like it. And then the deep planche push up the, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then this thing here. So I'd actually never really messed around like on parallels, parallel bars before. So I was actually kind of worried about falling off as I tr transitioned over to the straight bar. But yeah, I don't really even need to comment about that uh, deep planche push up. That definitely didn't count in the scoring points. Uh, but yeah, all right, let's see what happens next. So I, I go over to the straight bar, go into touch front lever, don't hold it, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a thing that we are going to notice as a theme is that holding statics is just <laughs> not a thing for me in this competition. I, I, I Part of that is just the nerves and just the time because it's like you're perceiving time faster than it's actually going. So you're up there and you're thinking you're up there for two, three seconds when you are up there for like a millisecond. So I hit the touch front lever, no hold, go down. Uh, and then I think I do some front, le pull, front lever pull up to touch again, no hold. 
go into my supinated planche, push, <laughs> wait, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, whoop, slow-mo bark, I, <laughs> oh man, yo, that's, uh, that's, that's just some peak form right there, uh, okay, let's keep going, do the planche push-up to, again, I'm not even sure if you would count that if you're a judge, I wouldn't, to be honest, I wouldn't count it, that supinated planche push-up, and then no hold multi, let's, Let's run that back real quick. Uh, hold on. And then, yeah, I just kind of do a wide planche raise here. Let's see. Whoop. Oh, I, okay. That was like a microsecond. Cool. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Looks like I go for P-Bar Maltese. Oh, my gosh. I actually held it. That was a decent hold, too. Pretty good. And then I go into planche. Try dead planch again, like again, like look at this, look at this at the bottom here. So again, it's kind of hard to see with the bushes, uh, but it, he did the best he could. Yeah, look at this. I mean, you can't. I don't know if you guys can really see, but yeah, look at the shoulders in comparison to the wrist. They're way high, and the banana back is just insane here. So again, like, do you count that if you're a judge? I don't think. Like, I if I were watching this dead planch push up, I'm telling you right now, I, I don't think I count it. Or maybe it'd be like a. It would be a low score. And then, okay, and then I get rid of the bars and do a floor plan. At this point, I'm really tired. I mean, this is a one minute video. Oh, and that's it. So, okay, the failed floor planche is the end. Uh, so round one, like looking back at it now, it I don't think it was that bad. I, 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 I'm still looking at this and I'm just like, it's awesome I did my first Pelican. That's an achievement for me. And just really happy I did that. Because as you guys know, Pelican's my favorite skill. So, okay, that was round one. Uh, if I were to rate this out of 10, like, I did Pelican. That's a pretty hard move. But then I, I, I basically did Pelican and nothing else. Well, okay, I did Pelican and uh, the Maltese. Uh, the, the Maltese on Parallettes. But out of everything else, so it's probably like a 5 out of 10 round, seriously. Um yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, you know, I, I I really did use this as motivation because I wasn't happy with my performance at the competition. It really motivated for me. And it, it was literally the thing where right after I got back from that competition, that's when I re that's when everything really started increasing. And then it all peaked at like August or whatever. So I, I, I am grateful for the experience because I really do think it motivated me to get to the level I am now. So, okay, round two. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. We're on rings. What memes are we going to pull out here? Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's get it. Yeah, three, two, one, start. Starting up, getting ready for the Vic. Uh, that wasn't bad. Uh, it, actually, it was no hold, obviously, but... I mean, if we look, if we run this back into the position that we have... Oh, wait, Caruso! Slow Caruso! Oh, oh man, and this was before... Yeah, this was before people were doing that. All right, Slow Caruso. All right, no, but seriously, like, that's pretty... I mean, I got into some pretty good form on that Vic, uh, which is awesome. And, yeah, obviously no hold. So, again, it's like, do you count that? I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I just don't know what you do. Because it's like going for a hard skill and doing it poorly. Versus, it, it just brings up the debate of doing hard skills with bad form and short holds versus like good, easy skills with very clean form. I don't, so I just don't know. That's whatever. Uh, go into the planche. Pretty good. I had no, okay, yeah, I, I remember this. I So as you can see, we go planche. <laughs> <laughs> then we just fall right into back lever. I honestly, like, I do remember this at the competition. I had no idea what I wanted to do. This was, I, I was kind of training VG at the time, but not really. I, I kind of took a break from VG to get ready for the competition. And then after the comp is when I started training VG and it was like maybe a month or something after the comp that I did my first VG. So I hadn't done that yet, but I had done Nakayama at this point, but only once in my entire life. So maybe I was thinking like planche to Nakayama or something, but I don't know. I just, I just fell through it. I blanked. I had no idea what I was doing. So I just fell through that back lever. Uh, and then I hop right back up and go into a pretty good iron cross here. And I actually hold it for like two seconds. And then I press that out and go back into my signature planche raise. <laughs> 
come over to the P-bars and hit some planche push-ups with pretty good range. Actually, those are pretty good. Uh, the form, uh, obviously, right here at the end, not very good, but, I mean, it, it's like an all-day comp, guys. Like, it was just hot. We were doing stuff, so I think that's fine. Maltese, no hold. Pretty good form, though. And then what on earth am I doing here? <laughs> oh, yeah, planche raise. <laughs> and then into the touch front lever. That was actually a good pull to touch. Yeah, and then I think I'm done. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty good round two. Definitely weaker than the first round, in my opinion. Again, I just, I really fell through that back lever and that was kind of bothering me the entire round. Oh, look, guys. Oh, yeah, woo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of fell through that back lever and that kind of just messed me up throughout the entire round. So yeah, it is what it is. That round definitely worse than the first one. So let's see what happens in the third round round this was the final round guys all right we are starting with the supinated planche let's see what goes on this was also before i really started training supinated planche a lot because at this time i was uh kind of just working on parallel bars so yeah supinated planche push up okay two of them not terrible um the first one was good second one not very good it was uh i mean it was just awful form it's not a straight line, it's retracted, banana. We'll watch it again though, and see what goes on. So, here we go. Uno, dos, okay, cool. And then the wide. 1.5 seconds maybe, microsecond, not terrible. Back lever pull up, <clears throat> two of Esto, really good there. Um, yeah, that was good. And then front lever, one, two, three, four, good. Pretty clean except for the slash touch, but again, final round, doing this all day, it's it's solid, that's good. And then soupy, planche, eh, not that good, not that good. And on the floor, one, two, oh. Well, maybe 1.5 seconds. Not bad. All right. Third round, definitely better than the second one. My favorite round was still the first round for sure. Hold on, I'm going to stop the uh, screen recording here. All right, guys, so that's the video. Uh, I just had a freak out because I thought that I wasn't screen recording that entire time, but it turns out I actually was, which is great. Overall, though, the competition was a good experience. I am glad I did it. Uh, and people are always asking if I'm going to compete or compete again I, I would I, I just don't know I would say probably not it's just not really why I'm doing this to be quite honest with you guys and um it's just kind of a hassle to travel and do all that stuff for competitions but uh it is what it is though I'm definitely happy I did it was a good experience uh comment what you guys saw in the video um and yeah guys uh thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one deuces